Good morning, folks. Pastor Tim Hoover coming to you from the sanctuary of South Harbor Creek United Methodist Church. And I welcome you here this morning to my first uh, devotional uh, with you today. Over the last several years, I've become very attuned to spiritual disciplines and and how important they are in our spiritual walk uh, with Jesus Christ. And I am going to probably encourage each of you often, if not all the time, to begin to develop these disciplines in your own life. Discipline of reading the scripture every day, making time to pray every day, making time to look for God even in the most quiet and and mundane moments of your life. And finally, asking yourself, How is my soul? Where is Satan attacking me today? Where have I failed? Where where do I need to work on my soul to draw closer to Jesus Christ? Today I want to talk about one of those spiritual disciplines, and that is being in the presence of God. From Luke In chapter 10, verses 38 to 42, we see the story of Mary and Martha, and most of us are familiar with that story. Jesus has arrived, and and Martha is busy cleaning, and and she's cooking a meal or whatever she's doing, and, and she's just busy, 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 and just running around. And Mary simply sits down at Jesus' feet. Martha comes in and uh, is, is very disappointed that Mary has not lifted a finger to help her in any way, shape, or form. And Jesus says these words, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. Our lives are busy. We go to work. We have families. We come home. There's yard work. There's organizations that we belong to, and they must meet and and make preparations for the work that they're doing. Sometimes we find ourselves, if we have children and and I've been through this with my own children, where you just seem like you live in your car as you drive them from this event to the next event, to this practice, to that practice, or whatever the case may be. And too often we fail to just sit at the presence of Jesus Christ. Mary did that. Sure, there was work to be done. There was probably a room that needed swept out. There was food that needed to be made because you didn't enter into a home and not get fed. But Jesus only wanted their attention. And Mary gave that. And Mary was there to listen to what Jesus was talking about, listen to what Jesus was saying, and learning from his is vast wisdom and knowledge. Today, we need to make that time. Yes, we need Martha occasionally. We do need to clean our homes. There's no question about that. We need to clean our cupboards, and even the sanctuary in the church needs cleaned on a regular basis to make it comfortable and welcoming. But more importantly, we need to be in the presence of God. So I encourage each of us here today to make that time every day to sit at Jesus' feet, open his word, listen to his voice, So many times, even when we pray, we're not listening. We just simply pray for this or that, or we want to pray for the the health of someone we love, or or we, we, we need something in our own lives, and we're praying for that. But we fail to just listen. 
Find a quiet place in your room. The scriptures tell us to, to go into your prayer closet. Uh, that's a novel idea for many of us because most of us don't have closets that are big enough to go sit in. But find a quiet place, a place where you can, can just block out the rest of the world, even for 10, 15 minutes. And just listen. Listen to God's small voice, sharing his love, his mercy, and his grace with you. I've been blessed in my life more than, than I can even begin to recount. Even my wife tells me all the time, you are so blessed. She'll start out by saying, you're so lucky. And I say, no, I'm blessed. But I attribute that to the fact <clears throat> that I make time every day to be in the presence of God. <clears throat> so as you go on with your week, I hope that you find that time. Find that time to just sit back. Maybe you find a comfortable chair. Maybe you sit on a back porch or Maybe, maybe you just find a quiet room that's comfortable for you and spend that time with God. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful Heavenly Father, we know that we don't give you the time that you deserve. We call upon your Holy Spirit, Almighty God, to guide us and direct us to make time every day to spend with you. For we know that if we do this, not only will we learn, but we will grow closer and be more intimate with you, which is the very thing you've called us to do. Lord, we ask your blessing continued upon this congregation, this community, and those around us. Help us to reach out. Help us to know your will. We pray in Jesus Christ's most holy and precious name. Amen.